My name's Robert Looms. Um, I'm a watchmaker. I grew up in a family business that was heavily involved in buying and selling antique clocks and watches. And when I started working in the business, I was quickly more interested in the mechanics and the repair and restoration side than I was in the buying and selling side. So I trained working not just with my father, but working with other watchmakers and clockmakers in the north of England, learning the trade. Um, I took a long time over it, but eventually qualified as a member of the Horological Institute, I suppose by the time I was 30. And about that time I started playing making watches. And over the last 10 years or so, we've made hundreds of watches, uh, which we just sell locally from our workshops in Lincolnshire. But they're all with imported movements, imported this, imported that. And our customers kept saying, it's very nice, it's lovely, it's nice to see your name on a watch dial, but we want something that's made in England. Could you make an entirely English watch? So the whole made in, made in England uh, idea is what drives the brand. Is that correct? Yeah, it was very much pressure yeah. from the customers. Uh, but once I'd started, I didn't think I was going to do everything. I just thought, you know, can we make our own cases? Can we make our own dials? But once I'd started, I became slightly obsessive. And it's like, no, that's not enough. We need to make the sapphire glass. We need to polish it ourselves. We need to be able to make the nylon gasket that holds the glass in, the rubber case seals. And we don't make it all ourselves. What we do is we find companies who already have the right kind of expertise take them our designs and say, can you make this for us? These companies are all in the UK? They're all English companies, yeah. Um, and some of them, ironically, started out in the watchmaking business 60, 70 years ago. They've now drifted sideways. So the guys who make our sapphires are really camera lens specialists. They make camera lenses for complicated cameras. But we knew as soon as we saw their workshop, we could use their machinery. In terms of the design, the look of the watches, what, 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 how would you characterize it? It's meant to be a gentleman's watch. It's not meant to be showy, flashy. It's meant to do what a watch should do, just tell the time. Show me some examples of uh, some of your watches. Yeah, if we look at these two, this is the first watch we made. This is the Robin. Each of these is intended as a limited edition of 100 pieces. This is the first entirely English watch we made. Um, and... Um, you know, it's Derby made case. We designed and made the dials ourselves, came up with a new way of manufacturing dials that suited our purposes, that worked for manufacturing rather than trying to do it by hand. Um, what else can I say? Um, if I turn it over, it's a 60 year old Smith's mechanism, um, but what we've done with it is stripped it, completely rejeweled it, new mainspring, new hairspring, new sapphire jewels for a couple of parts of it and carefully build it back together so that it's a far better thing than when these were first being made 40 years ago. And it's a simple manual wind watch. So what we wanted for this was we wanted something that was elegant, traditional, something that was effectively a gentleman's watch. It does no more than you need it to. It tells the time. Um, very plain, heat-blued hands, frosted rhodium-plated dial. It's meant to be elegant, yet tough enough for everyday use. You can wear it in the boardroom, you can wear it to the theatre. I've worn it to chop logs in in my garden, I've taken it out of when I've been horse riding. You know, it's tough enough for everyday life. Um, when you turn it over, we wanted an open back so you could see it, it's chugging away. This is a slow beating watch, it beats 18,000 beats per hour. So you get to enjoy the pleasure of watching it move around. Um, we polished and blued each of the screws, we polished the plates flat, I hand engraved them. We actually started out machine engraving and after we'd machine engraved about a dozen sets of plates, we threw them all away and went on to hand engraving. It just looks so much nicer. Um, so tell me what's special about uh, your watches and your brand. I think what's special is the fact that every single part is made in England. Um, and it's not like a Roger Smith, George Daniels creation work of art. These things are manufactured. It's where we sit down, we do the designs, and then eventually at some point you can press the button and parts come off the conveyor belt. And then we can assemble them all in our workshops and start work on building a watch.